Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> okay, so different setup, yes. I decided to film this way today because the light coming in from the windows was hitting my face like crazy and I had a really crazy morning. So I just wanted to get this filmed because I have a lot of plants to repot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cacti. No, there's some euphorbia, but eight nonetheless. So I thought that I would do it this way so you can kind of see what I'm doing here, here. And I have my soil here. I have some mosquito bits because I'm still putting my cactus in soil. And I have all of my cactus here. So I'll show you what it is. We'll get it repotted. And I'm also going to answer some questions that you guys asked me over on Instagram. So let's see here. Let's pull them up. I have them here. I also have a present I got from a friend. Reb. Plantastica. Thank you for my Green Bay mug. I have my tea in it with my metal straw. It's approved by a Chicagoan. Don't come after me, Bears fans. You know, fun fact about me, I'm not even a sports fan, so I could just appreciate this for a great little cooler that it is. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's start with this cactus here. Now I got a few of these in Tucson the last time I visited. And they've been acclimated to my house for about a month now. So I think we're ready to just get them potted up into some terracotta. They probably don't necessarily need to be repotted, but the weather's really nice outside. It's getting much warmer in Chicago. I, I wanna say it's like 50 degrees today, which is awesome. It's gonna be 62 on Sunday and we're in the first week of March. So that's pretty crazy to me. But this is a Astrophytum ornatum. I got this one in Tucson. That's the name of it. Here's the plant. Hopefully you can see that. Look at me. Cute. I'm gonna try to save as much stone as I can. I might just like dump it in with the soil so that it adds for extra drainage. But I do have a mixture of some cactus soil with extra perlite and some orchid bark here. I like to keep my cactus mix as airy as possible because they don't like their roots to stay wet. They like fast draining soil. So that's my ultimate goal here. And I'm also gonna try not to get any soil on my carpet, which I feel like that's gonna be damn near impossible. All right, so as you guys know, I absolutely love my terracotta. Ooh, so I want all of my cacti to be in terracotta. A lot of them are still in grow pots. So aesthetically, it's just bothering me. So that's why we're doing this. First question is from Happy little bush, Cody. I just bought a fairy castle cactus. Any tips on how to keep her cute and which soil mix should I use? Well, you should use the mix I just talked about for starters. <laughs> tips to keeping her happy. Well, my mom has a fairy castle cactus in Arizona and I just did a video on how it has scale. I believe it has scale. I think just check it, make sure you're checking it for pests. It's definitely a harder plant to keep happy if it gets an infestation of some sort. Mealybugs, scale, it's got so many crevices. I think I have one here. Yeah, can you see that? It's right here. It's got so many crevices in it that it's just almost impossible to treat. One, cacti don't like to like be wet. The flesh of the cactus doesn't like to be wet. So it becomes kind of hard when you have to treat cactus for pests. It really does. So I would just make sure that you're checking on it. I have my cactus gloves here, which these are linked in my Amazon store below. If you're looking for a good pair, I swear by these. Uh, I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna have to vacuum. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, calm down. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to vacuum, wow. That's what I would say. I would just say try your hardest to keep it happy and uh, pest free if you can. Okay. Root system looks pretty good on here. It's a little dry, but that's okay. All right. I let the stone fall in there, but that's totally fine. Oh my God. I'm going to make such a big mess, you guys. Oh, ho, 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 ho. my carpet is going to be full of soil. Good thing I have a good vacuum. All right. 
I have a lot of questions here. Oh, and I didn't even think about it. I'm gonna have to take my gloves off every time I ask a question. Dirty Roots asked, soil mix recipe. Oh my gosh, I just answered that. Well, Dirty Roots revert back like two minutes ago. <laughs> Mary J's Plants asked, when are you making a trip to New England? Man, you guys, seriously, what I wanna do is I wanna sit down and I wanna make a list of where all of my fellow tubers are, plant tubers, and subscribers and just friends that I kind of talk to on a regular basis. And I wanna make an attempt to like visit everyone's hometown and just like plant shop and meet up for coffee and just talk and just meet all of you guys. Like how fun would that be? Okay, I got it in there. So now what I think I'm gonna do, don't look at my face. So now what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to top it off with a little bit of river rock, which I have over here. I bought this. It's lava rock, actually. I bought this from Plant Shop Chicago. It's just like a red lava stone, and it makes it look so pretty on the top. I don't know if I'll have enough for all of my cacti, but it's okay. Is that a fungus gnat? You see guys, this is why me and soil don't get along. So I love these gloves, but they're really hard to work with. There's a piece of orchid bark. Okay, that's done. See how cute that looks? It looks so nice. I love it. I'm happy I got this potted up. Okay, on to the next one. You go there. I don't know, a lot of you are following me on Instagram, but I dyed my hair, so it's much darker, and I have like bangs, and I'm still kind of getting used to it. I did it mainly to just get rid of the gray, but when I go to Arizona, like, see how dark it is? When I go to Arizona, it's gonna lighten so much that I'll probably lose most of the color by the time I get back. Next, terracotta. Let's try to get some of this soil in there. Oh. I am seriously just going to have to vacuum. All right, let's get to the next question. Okay, these Nutty Plants <laughs> asked, will you do a meetup at any Chicago location? That's a good question. I've actually been wanting to do a meetup for a while now. Um... But I just feel weird. Like, I, I feel like, well, are people going to show up? Like, I know that there's quite a few of you guys that are in Chicago, but I just feel kind of weird doing, like, a meetup by myself. I would love to do it with, like, some friends of mine, other YouTubers. Like, so maybe we can gather both of our subscriber bases <laughs> and make it feel like a better turnout, I guess. I don't know. I would just feel kind of weird doing that. But... I do want to plan something where like maybe we do it at a plant shop and you guys come in and you can get like a percentage off of your purchase and we can meet and we can chat and say hi, maybe take a picture for the gram and do something like that. So maybe in spring, this is an astrophytum, um, my Rio, my Rio stigma and my gloves are going to be in the way, but that's what that is. My Rio stigma. And this is a, this is a euphorbia and it looks really, really cool. Like it almost looks like a bishop's cap. I wonder if it's a type of bishop's cap. I'm going to let some of this stone fall in here. This doesn't have any spines. Ooh. Okay. I want it to sit like right there. I think that's good. Perfect. All right. Becca de la Plants asks, what's something not a lot of people know about being a YouTuber? Ooh, that's a good question. Oh my God, I'm getting soil everywhere, you guys. It's on my mic. Something people don't know about being a YouTuber. How much time goes into videos? Like, I think that might be the biggest one. People that just watch TV and no fault to them for not knowing because you don't know what you don't know. But 
let's just say I have a whole other appreciation for people that actually make Hollywood movies because it's no wonder it takes months and months and months. And I mean, I'm not comparing a plant YouTube video, <clears throat> a plant YouTube video to something like that, but just knowing how much work goes into making a video where it looks like I'm just sitting down repotting a plant and I'll just take this video footage right out of my camera and I'll upload it to the internet. Bada bing, bada boom. No, um, we use editing software, which can sometimes be laggy and slow depending on the computer you have, depending on the camera equipment you're using. Um, then once it gets uploaded at the editing process alone, like you're making cuts, you might be adding pictures in like this. That took me about three minutes just to do that. You might be adding in different sound effects. You have to sync your volume because I have a mic on. So right there, you have to try to sync that with the audio coming out of your camera. And then uploading it to YouTube is just not the click of a button either. You have to add information in your description box and you have to make a thumbnail. The thumbnail <laughs> is the most tedious part I feel because you have to literally go in and unless you're a graphic designer or unless you're good with stuff like that, it could be really difficult to do it. So you have to make a thumbnail and then you have to post that. And then uploading a video is just not like upload. There's a lot of steps you have to go through to upload it. You have to put tags in it. You have to put links in it. If you're linking something in your description, you have to look that up. <sighs> what else? Thinking of a title. Sometimes people don't even realize that it could take me like an hour just to think of a title or to search up what a good title would be for my video. It's, it's kind of insane. It really is. I totally could have potted this with no gloves, but I'm a big baby. So I'm always afraid that there's going to be like hidden spines and then I'm not going to know. Oh my God, that's so cute. Look at that. She cute. All right. My Rio, my Rio stigma. You go over there. Ancy Anthony says, hi, not a question. Just appreciation. Keep doing you. That was really sweet. Thank you. Pammy's planty things. What is your favorite non planty thing to do? And then she also asks, what is your favorite ordinary house plant? My favorite ordinary house plant, ordinary string of hearts. I'm looking at it. It's pretty dang pretty. <laughs> and then my favorite non-planty thing to do. First, look at this. Look at this terracotta pot. Isn't it cute? This is the one that you guys saw in my thrift haul from the other day. Oh, I love it. Okay. We are going to pot this girl up. This is the Mammillaria Neja Pensis, Nejapensis. Someone helped me ID this on Instagram, which I greatly appreciate because I did not know what it was, but it's really cute. Okay, it's got some stone on here, so I'm gonna put some soil in first. Favorite non planty thing to do? Um, travel. So I absolutely love traveling. I just do not like flying. I feel like it's a control thing. I just don't like being on planes. Like I can tolerate it. I'm not terrified to fly. It's just definitely one of my least favorite things to do. Um, I get very anxious. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm just not good in the air. I feel like we don't have any business being up there and uh, we should be on the ground. Because we don't have wings, the planes do, you know, and man-made things fail. I really want to go to Brazil. I really want to go to Italy. Oh, my hair. I want to go to Germany. I hear it's beautiful. Amsterdam. Australia. Like, I have so many places. He wants to see, he wants to go to Egypt to see the pyramids. We got goals, guys. Just waiting for our kids to grow up, you know, so we can start doing our thing. But yeah, travel. And I mean, sometimes traveling definitely means planty things because I like to hit up plant shops every time I travel. <laughs> but that's not 
solely plant related. Oh, she is cute. Okay, we're gonna pop this back in here. I'm gonna give all these a really good water too after this video. Look, how pretty. Very nice. <laughs> there is so much soil on my rug. Yikes. I just bought this today and I'm gonna repot it because it's from Home Depot and I always feel like when I buy things from Home Depot, it's like a, a rescue mission. So I don't know what the name of it is. It just has a number on it. It says SU-060. So I need some help IDing this plant because that's clearly not the name. Uh, it doesn't say it on here either. It just says four inch cactus. But how cool is that? Very meaty. This was only $5.98, which was a great price, I feel. Okay, get some soil and we'll get another question going here. Okay. Unbelievably Ariel asks, if you were a plant, what would you be? What's a plant I've been itching to get lately? My least favorite genus of plant. And how do you know you have too many plants? Okay. How do you know you have too many plants? No such thing. My least favorite genus of plant is probably begonia. <laughs> Anything begonia related. Sorry, Rachel and Casey. I love you guys. And I watch all of your begonia videos regardless of this fact. But they're just not for me. Um, plant I've been itching to buy lately. Thai Constellation. I'm going to say that until I finally get it. And if I was a plant, what would I be? Hmm. What would I be? I answered this in Becca's video when we did our mukbang. Mukbang. I still don't know how to say that. And it was like your sign in plant form. And I'm a Gemini. So I said elbow because like, or half moon rather, elbow. Cause it's like half white, half green variegation because of the Gemini sign. I gravitate more towards being a Taurus than a Gemini. My birthday is May 21st. So I'm on the cusp of the two and I don't really follow astrology, but you didn't ask that. <laughs> you said if I was a plant, what would I be? Um, I would probably, I'd probably be a cactus. Not because I love them so much, but because they are tough. I feel like I'm pretty tough. Ooh, this is dry. Home Depot. <laughs> um, they are resilient. Oh, but they like the heat and I don't like the heat. Hmm, but all plants kind of like heat, right? Yeah, I'd be a cactus for those reasons alone. I'm gonna... This is gonna stay just like it is. <laughs> Sometimes the spines get through. Um, ooh, that's cute. I think I'm just gonna top it with stone. I wonder if... It needs more soil. This is one of my favorite planters. It's terracotta, isn't it cute? I think I'm gonna put this in here because one, I need to break up these roots a little bit more. Wow, this has a lot of roots. This is a nice root system. Okay, that's perfect. I love repotting. I'm so excited for when I could start repotting outside. You have no idea because then I can make a mess and not have to worry about really cleaning it up. I can just brush it off into the grass. <laughs> and not have to vacuum my entire office because there's soil everywhere. My mom's probably watching this and it's probably giving her anxiety because I'm literally getting soil all over the place. Perfect. I could not get my finger down in that other terracotta pot to like pack it in, so this works. I think I might do white stone on this one. Yeah, because this is like dust. Let's answer another question. Sorry I'm dragging today, guys. Today's like just a draggy day. Lara loves leaves. Hey, Lara. What is your favorite breakfast cereal? That's a good question. I like the oats Cheerios, the oats and cinnamon. 
it's a newer one, I think, Cheerios. And I want to say maybe it came out around the holidays, but they still have it in stores. And it's so good because it has like little bits of granola. And it's, I love everything and anything that's cinnamon except for Big Red Gum. Ugh. My battery died. All right. I think I'm centered. Um, Euphorbia Horida. I think that's what that is. That's that. And this is the cactus. Cute. It's Euphorbia, actually. Um, I just said that. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to put this one in this little planter here. Because I think it's a baby. Does this have spines? Oof, I'm scared. Look at the roots on this. Shake it. Give it a little shake. I'm trying not to use my gloves for this one because it's so small. Like I can't really get down in there with those gloves. I do love them though. They're great for planting like pokey boys. I think I'll top it with some stone. Ooh. Next question. I have a lot of questions. Dev Tonse. Am I saying that right? I hope so. Do you know any Ohio or other Midwestern plant tubers I can watch? How did you get started with your photography business? Oh, two good questions. Um, any other Ohio or Midwestern? Well, I do know Pammy's Planty Things is Midwest. I believe she's considered Midwest. She's in Minnesota. She has a channel um, if you're not already following her. Then who else is in the Midwest? Shoot. I don't know any other plant tubers in Chicago, like plant tubers. Um, there's Plantastica. She is in Wisconsin, so she's in the Midwest. Um, she's great. She's got a great channel. Who else? I don't know anybody else on YouTube that you can watch. But man, there are so many great channels. Like, don't stick to just the Midwest channels because there are a lot of great channels all over the US and in Canada and in Australia and in the UK. So if you want a list, ask in the comments and I'm sure subscribers will give you tons of pages to follow. Um, how did I get started with my photography business? is the next question, but let's look at this first. How cute. Horida, Horida. She is done. Cute. All right. Got a little saucer. Oh my God. My hands are so dry, I hate that. Okay, let's pot up this juicy girl here. I got this one in Tucson as well. And the roots are coming out of the bottom, I think. So this is a Hosti Hostii Gymnocalisium. Gymnocalis, Gymnocalisum, Calisum, Hostii. Terrible. I don't know if you could see that, but here's the cactus. Juicy. So we're going to pot her up and I think I need my gloves for this one, yes. I think I'm gonna use this bigger planter here. It's not very big. All of these planters are like four inch, four inch pots. Oh, it is, wow. Huh, I don't know if I've ever seen a cactus that's root bound. Look at that, crazy, right? Can you see those in there? It's very, very heavy with perlite. Oh, and I'm getting soil everywhere. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> you know, this little table I have here has holes in it. So, you know, that's just smart. It's so dry. I should probably be moistening this soil before I pot it up. All right. How did I get started with my photography business? Well started taking pictures of family friends like friends that had families 
and I absolutely loved it. I knew I wanted to do wedding photography. Uh, I just wanted to start a business doing weddings. They're like the happiest day of somebody's life up to that point, you know? So what better place to be in all day than around a bunch of happy people? Have I had bridezillas? Sure. Not really, though. I've had a couple brides that have kind of like lost it throughout the day, you know, because something wasn't going right. But that's expected. Like, I would do the same thing. <laughs> um, for the most part, I have amazing clients. I've had such great experiences. Knock on wood. 2020 is a new year. Ooh, this is cool. It's very top heavy. I'm going to put stone in there so that it stays put. I started back when Craigslist was a big thing. Remember Craigslist? Wow. I would post on Craigslist saying, hey, like I'm a new photographer. I really want to get into the wedding business. Anybody getting married, smaller weddings that might want to test me out for a very low price. Like pretty much just, I just made them pay like for my time, you know, like hourly. I think my first wedding I charged like 200 bucks and it was, I, I built, I was able to build a portfolio off of like maybe five or six weddings that I shot that first year. And, um, I got better equipment, you know, we got insurance and all that stuff that goes with having a business and the more I Got better at photography the more I started charging. And now we're like eight years in and we're finally a full business. <laughs> I want to say it took about three, two, two and a half to three years to really start getting referrals and like getting our name out there, doing weddings for a really low price just to build up our portfolio. It was not easy, but... We've come a long way and I'm really happy with where we're at now. Um, we don't really advertise. We're still on the knot, but we're getting ready to drop it just because it's really expensive and we don't really need it anymore because we're getting so many referrals. Look at how cute. Super cute. Um, so we're in a good, we're in a good place, but it did take a long time. I love photography. It's fun. More importantly, I love working for myself. We have three kids and two dogs, if you're new here. <laughs> and uh, it's not an easy thing to have a nine to five. So props to all you moms and dads out there who do it because, wow, our kids are getting older and they're going to be in sixth, let me think about this, no, fifth seventh fifth and seventh grade and those two girls go to different schools and our oldest is going into high school next year so we will have three kids in three different schools <laughs> yeah we're busy okay i need an id on this one too because i don't know what this one is it's got like reddish brownish spines it's got some babies coming in there help a girl id it okay I'm going to put this one in this pot. So, a little soil here. Oh, uh, this is also a euphorbia. It's not a cactus. So, it's a euphorbia. I just don't know what what it, what it is. Like what the name of it is. Sarah Brown 36. What is your favorite cactus currently in your home? Ooh. My favorite cactus in my home, ooh, probably my booby cactus. Where's my boobs? Fun? Yeah. Making a mess. Wow. All right. Bye, buddy. I love you. Okay. What was I saying? That's my booby cactus. She's cute. <laughs> That's my favorite. So that was fun. Okay. I got this in there and it's pretty secure, but I'm going to add some stone to this one too. I wish I had lava rock because I feel like this one will look pretty with lava rock, but it's okay. All right, there's some babies here, so I want to try not to cover the babies. Adding stone to the top layer of your plants 
especially with cactus. One, it's aesthetically pleasing. And two, it helps with fungus gnats. So keep that in mind. Although with these kind of stones, I feel like fungus gnats can still kind of get in there, but it's better than nothing. Cute. Okay. <sighs> what do we have left? Do we have only one left? Oh, thank God. Plantastica. I was just talking about you. She asks, which shoe do you put on first, the right or the left? The right. If a weasel walked up to you and smiled and it had a gold, gold tooth, would you offer it a pie? <laughs> this is Reb. Last one. Do you have to pluck your chin hair yet? It's a constant battle for me. <laughs> I have no words for you. Like, I have none. Uh, Megan Guana Robbins asked, what type of photography do you do and what's your favorite, if not the same? Um, I think I answered that. So it's wedding photography and that is my favorite. <sighs> Essential Creations asks, how to know or decide when to water your cactus? So some cacti or euphorbia, hold on, oh, I gotta reach, will have um, like really juicy flesh <laughs> and it'll sometimes wrinkle when you, and that's a, a telltale sign when you know that it needs more water um, because cactus tend to stay plump and full if they're happy. Or honestly, just getting to know your cactus. What I like to do is I like to just walk around and lift up my terracotta. I feel like while terracotta does have some weight to it, once you know your plants and you've lifted them up quite a few times and you kind of know what to expect their weight to be, you know when a plant is dry just based on how heavy or light it is. So that's another way I can tell if it needs water. I also keep track of when I water my plants. I usually water my cactus about every two to three weeks, depending. There's some that I don't because it also depends on how big the pot is that they're in. If it's a bigger cactus, if it's a smaller cactus, smaller cacti like these in these little pots tend to dry out faster, obviously, as opposed to something in a much bigger pot that retains more moisture and water. I would just say get to know your plants. If you are really bad at watering and you have a really hard time, I would make a schedule. Like I would write out each plant, mark when you watered it last. If you know that that cactus does really well, watering it maybe every three to four weeks, great. Depends on what season it is too. I water my plants much less in the winter time. My battery's dying, shoot. All right, well, my battery's dying. I'm gonna pop this one up. This is my pine cone cactus. We're going to put it in here. It looks cute in this planter though, doesn't it? <laughs> um, Articulatus. That's the proper name of this plant, if you're wondering. And I'll repot this off camera since my camera is going to die. Thanks so much, guys, for asking questions over on Instagram. I appreciate you tuning in for this video. Thanks for repotting with me. I have a lot of plants here. Maybe I'll do a quick overhaul so you can see what they all look like before my camera craps out. And if you like videos like these, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.